today at Executive Chat, we're going to meet Luca Colombo, Country Director of Facebook Italy. So Luca, thank you for visiting Bocconi University. Real pleasure to be here with you. Let me start with a question on Facebook. Facebook uh, uh, is a social network, but also uh, owns many social networks, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, uh, Messenger, and more recently also launched uh, uh, a project with Luxottica, which is called Oculus on the Marketplace and Eyewear. Uh, what is the business model of Facebook, if you can share it with us? So basically, uh, Facebook is uh, for free, uh, a service for everyone. We try to serve all the kind of uh, segments and, and uh, uh, kind of uh, age uh, and uh, let's say uh, people. Uh, the, um, the service has to be free and uh, we realize that connecting people is a value. The value coming from connecting businesses, uh, ONGs uh, and people uh, is something we are uh, interested in. And the business model basically is uh, connecting people through personalized ads. Why is personalized ads? because a personalized ads uh, is uh, something that is valuable for the people because uh, instead of sending uh, uh, unrelevant content, uh, we send them something that is, uh, in theory, fitted in uh, their needs uh, and their interests, uh, but also uh, allowing people uh, uh, through businesses uh, to um, have this kind of connection interaction is valuable for uh, businesses. Uh, and uh, at the moment we have uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp and Instagram, 200 million uh, companies that uh, has a profile, uh, at the same time, uh, those uh, 10 million out of them uh, are using personalized ads, as I mentioned. So these are our business model. 97% of our revenue are coming from personalized ads. Uh, there's a still a 3% uh, that is related to hardware, such as Oculus uh, headsets, uh, so virtual reality, Portal, uh, who are, uh, which are the video connecting uh, devices for home and businesses, uh, but that's basically business. So different mechanisms and advertising as a revenue model. We tend to see uh, social networks, of course, as an American innovation. Uh, but still, China in these days uh, have become a leading player in the world with other uh, social networks. What is the role of Europe in your view? Uh, Europe is uh, a key region for Facebook. Uh, we have, uh, <coughs> uh, it has a huge importance for us. Uh, just to consider the number of people, we have thousands of people uh, uh, as employees, uh, but also millions of uh, clients uh, are uh, based in, in Europe. Um, Europe has uh, also a lot of strengths. Uh, we have uh, several top talents coming from Europe. Uh, uh, we have first class universities. Uh, um, and then uh, there's a, a large uh, consumer market uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this region. At the same time, uh, we saw also the market that is uh, offering and showing some uh, strengths uh, in some areas. For example, Spain saw uh, record level investment uh, for startups. Um, we saw, for example, Sweden that is becoming by 2023 the first uh, uh, cashless society. Therefore, there's a huge opportunity and uh, we made already some investment. Uh, we recently announced uh, the, for the next five years uh, a major investment of 10,000 employees uh, um, in, uh, in roles such as developers and engineers uh, uh, across Europe. Therefore, uh, I mean, for us, uh, this is just uh, an example of uh, why it's important and why it's playing a key role for us. So Europe is a potential big market, uh, but also as a potential provider of some of the services needed by the sector. Um, speaking about innovations, uh, Mark Zuckerberg has recently launched the notion of metaverse. What it is? So metaverse is coming, uh, let's say, <coughs> out of these uh, uh, crises uh, and terrible uh, uh, 18, uh, 24 months <coughs> we went through with uh, COVID. We realized that uh, the joy of being in a family and being connected with some friends, uh, uh, together with the fact that uh, uh, sometimes uh, the physical uh, experience cannot be um, done uh, and digital can actually close this gap. This experience, uh, together with the fact that uh, we still need to work a lot in order to improve all the digital experience, uh, uh, all these uh, concepts are basically resulting in the, this uh, idea of Metaverse. Metaverse should be the next uh, evolution of the online social experiences uh, that are going to offer a more immersive uh, and more engaging uh, um, uh, opportunities for people uh, to stay together. Not uh, uh, removing uh, the physical opportunities, but going in all the areas where physical cannot uh, address uh, and uh, uh, work. Metaverse is basically something that uh, will offer people uh, 
to uh, realize uh, non-physical experiences uh, with people you cannot, to, uh, you cannot be physically with. So that's basically the concept. Of course, there will be several years in front of us because uh, that's the vision for the next uh, five, 10 years uh, where we have to develop products, uh, services. Uh, technology has to improve, of course, uh, but that's uh, uh, the vision for uh, Facebook uh, for the next few years. Uh, uh, and the focus area for us, uh, uh, as Mark said, uh, not just, uh, let's say, for a country, but for the entire world. This seems pretty promising. Look, in your career, you have always considered important the uh, experience of more senior people, and you have always considered important mentorship. And that's why, with Bocconi University, we have recently launched together this CEO Connect, which is a project that puts together 30 CEOs uh, with 30 of our graduating students. What would you consider a successful uh, ex post this project? What would be the, the elements that would make it successful in your view ex post? Um, I think that uh, uh, this program uh, is a kind of, I don't want to say unique, but uh, uh, we try to put together something that uh, offers to the students access to unique resources. So um, I hope that uh, the students uh, uh, when they realize the value of mentorship, uh, will be their, themselves uh, ambassador for mentorship. Uh, so, as uh, I uh, started uh, using the mentorship uh, within the company, then across companies, and now with students, uh, my dream would be to have uh, maybe university students, uh, maybe mentoring uh, high school uh, students. So, I want to expand the community of mentors, uh, uh, let's say, in our country, and uh, this would be the great uh, result of this program, for me at least, uh, um, in order to have more and more people uh, mentoring others, because that's a very no-cost uh, opportunity to learn, uh, to, to grow people. That's, that's, uh, that's the, the, the success for me. Very ambitious and, of course, very impactful for society. So, Luca, thank you very much for visiting Bocconino University, and I look forward to having you back here. Thank you for having me, and uh, really looking forward to partnering with you again. <laughs>